Hey guys, what's going on? This is me, Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys iOS 8 Beta 2's new features and improvements. So without any more further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. iOS 8 Beta 2 was released a few days ago with a few features. The first feature is the podcast app is now going to be pre-installed when you install iOS 8. This way meaning that this will not change, this will be in the final version of iOS 8. However, I'm a person who does not use podcasts, but if you are a person, this is great for you because, uh, good for you because I do not use them, but you know, it could be sufficient to some people and not sufficient to others. Number two is the new spotlight searches are now going to be highlighted. So the last spotlight search that you search for is now going to be highlighted, meaning that if you want to go search that again, you just have to tap on the text and no longer uh, just take you right there. No longer and doing that. Number three is what I call swipe and stay. All you do is go deep into the settings application. We're just going to go to mail, add account and just swipe back and it's going to take you right back to the settings application right to the beginning. Uh, there is a similar feature like this. I'll show you guys towards the end of the video. Uh, but number four, it's going to be uh, quickly add websites to bookmarks. So if you open up Safari, we're going to go ahead and hold down the bookmarks uh, section. And it's going to bring up a few different options such as add to bookmark, add to reading list, and then subscribe to shared links. However, I just go add to bookmark because I'm not really a big fan of bookmarks. But all you do is just go to add bookmark, add to reading list, add to or subscribe to the shared links. It's a cool new feature to those who actually do use those features. It's now easily accessible via that little hold uh, section or uh, activation you're supposed to do while doing that. Bringing on to number five is the iMessage buttons are now gray. So if you looked in iOS 8 beta 1, the, the new camera and the new microphone button is now going to be gray instead of blue like it was in iOS 8 beta 1. They do still function the same as just like I showed you right there. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, to modify the appearance of iMessage's final appearance in iMessage. Another one in iMessage is the mark all messages as red. So uh, that's a pretty handy feature because that hap happens a lot to me where I want to mark all my features as red and all I do is just go to edit and mark as red and all of them will turn uh, just normal or without having you to delete them. However, if you still want to delete them, feel free, go right ahead to do that because that is requested by some people who if they want to have them deleted. Uh, number seven is no more title shortcuts. This is a big one because I love this and I love this new improvement. Uh, instead of having snap dot dot dot, Instagram dot 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 or face dot 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 for face Facebook, you're not just going to have the whole title and author laid out for you. So no more of that uh, snap dot 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 in that way you know which one you're actually downloading. Number eight is the exit and keep your position. This is pretty much the same as swipe a stay. All you do is go deep into the application and then exit onto your home screen. And then when you open up the settings application, everything should be stay the same and bring you back into the mail contacts and calendars. Unfortunately, this will disable it if you go and delete settings from your multitasking bar. So um, that's the only way to prevent it is just to not delete it from your multitasking bar. Number nine is the new assistive touch features. Uh, this is really handy because my home button is broken and to those who need the assistive touch, you now get the no new notification center and the new control center, but unfortunately notification center does not work in beta 2. Hopefully in beta 3 they will update that to make it work because I really do like to see that work. Um, yeah, the notification center for some reason does not work. However, the control center does work for me and that's really handy to those who have a case or a, like OtterBox or a life proof case on their phone and cannot get to the control center easily. I definitely recommend turning on assistive touch and using it. It's just a little bar and it does pop up right away. It does help me a lot and because I do use control center and I do like to have a case only when I'm not filming videos on but uh, for me it's just very easy to just do this so no really problem for me but um, all you do and also Siri does work as well you just have to tap the microphone instead of just letting instead of just starting to talk uh, in order for it to function properly uh, all you have to do is just tap the microphone bringing us on to the last one number 10 is the improved auto brightness now this isn't really a big one it just improves the auto brightness if you guys enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos including tech videos just like this one if you subscribe bye guys and see you guys in my next one peace out guys